Thanks for joining us here on Good Morning Vale. Joining me now and still joining me is Paul Gotthelf, but he's wearing a different hat now. It's yeah. an epic local <laughs> hat. And we have a new series called Epic Local. And what that does is it highlights some of the locals around here that have been around for a while, that are making a difference, and that have made a life here. And that's what you've done. How yeah. long have you been here? Uh, 42 years. 42 yeah, years, yeah. and you raised your family here. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. Great place to raise kids. You know, my kids... Uh, uh, when they went to college, oh, we can't wait to get out of here. You know, they uh, they yeah. had a small town, I think blues or whatever. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> of course, then they went to college and then got into the careers. And they were, well, you know, Vail was kind of a nice place. So all of a sudden, they're, they're starting to migrate back. So that's kind of nice, yes. I, I am a mother of young children, and I'm just like, how will I keep them here? Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. I think that that's what they do. The kids yeah. leave, and then they come back. Have you ever left in the 42 years? No, I've been here day one. And what did you here. start doing? Now, you wear a lot of different hats, and one of the things about Epic Locals is we all typically have more than one job. That's correct, yeah. yeah. Well, I started out in the jewelry business, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a little bench jeweler. Um, you know, it was literally, uh, you know, I see my first job really was down in Boulder building homes. And then I uh, came up here for the winter season and uh, flipped some burgers for Vail Resorts uh, for a ski pass, of mm -hmm. course, and being a ski bum, that's where it all started. But then I got into uh, jewelry. I had a jewelry background, you know, and uh, basically a goldsmith. And, and so I started a small business. And, and that's really what I encourage, you know, the younger generation to, to seek out because I think there's so many opportunities here. Really and are. you know, it took me 30 years to grow an incredible jewelry business that mm -hmm. eventually I sold to Better Rich, and and then I got into real estate. So you know, kind of recreating my careers. But uh, you know, I love to mentor young uh, couples. Uh, you know, anybody looking into business, and mm -hmm. you know, to kind of talk to them about business plans and and then the opportunities that do exist in the commercial world. You know, there's lots of little. Uh, you know, I I actually do quite a bit of commercial in Vale Village and up and down the valley. Uh, which is, you know, representing uh, as a landlord, uh, you know, I know most of the landlords in town. So I can talk to them about, you know, price per square foot and location. It's always location, location, location. Well, yeah, and the type if of you business. want to have a storefront. Yes, yeah, location exactly. Location is a big deal. And it's very expensive around here, too. Yeah, and that's, you have to be mindful of that. And I always tell some of the landlords, I mean, it's like these poor kids are never going to make it. And you want somebody there long term. So, you know, I think sometimes you have to get them to give back. And, and there's landlords that really understand that. And, yeah. and that will work with some of these younger, uh, you know, businesses to kind of let them oh. flourish. Well, good so to know. To Oh, so. You know, there's challenges out there now with, uh, you know, Amazon and so forth. I mean, you have to kind of reinvent yourself. I think our neighborhoods are a little more uh, resistant to that just because people are here to enjoy, you know, mm -hmm. obviously the, the beautiful mountains and you capture that audience very easily. Yeah. So. Yeah. So okay. Well, wait, nice. good yeah. motivation. If you want to start a business around here, yeah. let's talk about skiing because I know that you are a really good skier. Had you skied before you came out here? Oh yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, a I lot. I started when I was a little knee high. So, so. you've been skiing for uh, half a century. Yep. Yeah. 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 And what, what's your favorite ski to put on snowboard telly you know, well like I'm a, i like going in the back country that's probably my favorite okay. thing to do so mm -hmm. skinning uh, you know i love to skin it's a great exercise first yeah. off good workout and uh, you can get to some of these areas that are like wow the views are just breathtaking mm -hmm. and you'll be on top of a peak and it's blowing 50 miles an hour and you're barely you know holding on to, <laughs> to, to sheer ice and rock and uh, it, it's really a rush it really and, you, is. and you and, like that yeah, yeah, yeah so you I might get, get a little bit of that, that this yeah, weekend yeah, yeah. actually yeah, absolutely i got a little plan to get out there so. okay and then when real quick what's your plan for the next 10 years you know i i uh you know retirement really isn't in my uh, vocabulary so i uh you know, I, I'm kind of transitioning uh, uh, in the jewelry world. You know, I'm still involved mm -hmm. in that, but not doing uh, doing it more by appointment now. So I'm kind of backing off and uh, still, you know, taking care yep. of a few clients. But, you know, real estate is, you know, keeps me very That's busy. Like. Yeah, yeah. Really, and you're uh, really good at it, yeah, too. Yeah. Okay, I Paul like Gotthelf, he is one of our epic locals. If you ever get a chance to see him on the streets, stop him and say hello, and maybe ask for some business ideas. You are watching Good Morning Vale. When we return, that snow and wind he was talking about, it might be coming our way. We'll let you know.